This conference will now be recorded. Well, hello and welcome to DuckQuote, our first training video. We're going to first cover how to log in and create a new project. So, by going to www.duckquote.com, you'll come to the login page. You'll enter your user email and your password. Click login. That'll bring us here to the main menu. I'd like to talk for just a second about the buttons on the main menu. We've got the largest button that's going to list all of the projects, and those will include all projects that are created under your company's profile. You will be able to collaborate with each other on those. Then we've got new project, which we're going to use in just a moment to create a new project. We can also browse through the price list. The training videos is a very important one because that's where you'll be seeing these videos. You need to change your password or log off. Those are there. So let's go ahead and click New Project and get moving on. So here you have the project page. And as you can see, we can go through and create a new project. Now, there are two required fields to do this. There are only two. A project name is required, and we will simply call this Training 2020. And we'll also need to assign a state or province. Now, we can do where our office is located. And for us, that's here in North Carolina. So we would select that. However, if you don't want to give any kind of information like that, you can select unknown. But you will have to assign something to save this project. Now, there's quite a few other things here. So for instance, the manual reference number you can enter there. That is a searchable field on the project list, which we'll see in the next couple of uh, videos. We've also got other reference number, which you could enter here. Uh, these are pieces of information that can help you record and find things, but they are not required. For instance, the city and the country where your job may be located. The customer contact, that's the person as well as the company for which you're doing this quote. Right now we can only process things. Our price list is only in US dollars, so I suggest leaving that there. Then we can auto share. Now what this means is the contact name and company, this will have to be of a duck quote user for the system to auto share this particular project with them. Otherwise, I can show you how to send in a later video how to send a link so that they can look over things. Now you can also have a status. Now the default status is quote, uh, but you get to select here. If it's not going to be anything that ever actually turns into uh, an actual quote, if it's just practice, set it to sample demo. All right. Then you can enter an estimated date that you expect to win, a elevation if you choose to do that. Very nice thing about that is you can actually, using this search function, go and find either enter a location. So for us, that would be Kernersville, North Carolina, and you can see it pop up there. And we are actually located right about there. So just about 950 feet above sea level. And it gives some design maximums and mins. All right. So then we come down to the layout section. Now you can see that it's empty right now because we haven't yet created a layout. But when we do, that's where we'll see it. And across the top here, we have different tabs. Now the general is where we've been working here, general information. Order details allows you to enter a purchase order when it converts and a sales order, which we would provide. Shipping details, who it's being shipped to, etc. And here's how we can share. If we don't auto share, we can manually share with another DuckQuote user outside of our company profile. You don't need to do that if that person is already in your company. They'll be able to see it. 
And then finally, any kind of special notes that you want to enter about your order or your project, you can enter them here on this tab. All right, well, so we've covered creating the project. So watch our next video where we're going to cover creating a new layout in this project and then create that duct system. Appreciate it.